It is unjust, cruel, and profoundly wasteful to consign a person to prison for life. A decent society must not do it. Justifications for punishment are typically divided into the forward-looking, consequentialist, or utilitarian. Justifications on the one hand and the backward-looking, retributive or deontological justifications on the other. So in this video, we are going to tell you about the top five shocking reactions of innocent prisoners set free after 50 years. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number five, Stephen Avery. Stephen Avery, at the age of 22, was wrongfully convicted of rape. He spent almost 20 years in prison before being exonerated through DNA testing. On July 29, at approximately 3.50 p.m., Penny Ann Bernstein was out running along the Lake Michigan shoreline and was apprehended by an unknown man who forced her into a wooded area and sexually assaulted her. Based on a physical description of Bernstein's attacker, police provided a photo array of nine men. Beestein selected the photograph of Stephen Avery, who was arrested the following day. Number 4. Susan Mary Mellon A woman who was released from jail two weeks ago after serving 17 years behind bars for a murder conviction that was overturned is due back in a Torrance courtroom Friday when a judge will consider a defense request to have her declared factually innocent of the 1997 killing. Susan Mary Mellon, a 59-year-old mother of three, is due back before Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Mark S. Arnold who ordered her to be released on October 10. I believe that, not only is Ms. Mellon not guilty, I believe based on what I have read that she is innocent," Arnold said at the October 10 hearing. Number 3. Louis Vargas Based on the descriptions and the similarities of the attacks, Los Angeles police concluded that the same person committed all three attacks. The victims all were attacked at about 6 a.m. by a man with a knife as they walked to a bus stop. The police soon focused on 29-year-old Louis Vargas because he had a single teardrop tattoo under his left eye. All three victims identified Vargas in photo lineups, although with less than 100% certainty. Karen P., who never said she saw a teardrop tattoo, said her attacker was either Vargas or another man in the lineup before she finally settled on Vargas, saying she recognized him by a bump on his nose. Edith G. picked Vargas from a photo lineup although she said her attacker was heavier than Vargas and had much less hair. Number 2. Bobby Johnson Bobby Johnson was released from prison after nine years served for a crime he did not commit. Johnson was coerced into confessing and pleading guilty to murder when he was just 16. Records show that his IQ was below the mental impairment line. Bobby Johnson was released from prison and walked out a free man after spending nine long years in the Connecticut prison system for a crime he did not commit. An innocent man has been released from jail after serving nine years for a crime he did not commit, according to WTNA Connecticut News. Bobby Johnson, 24, was greeted and hugged by family and friends who came to support him on Friday after he walked out a free man from the New Haven Superior Court. Number 1. Devonta Sanford Devonta was only 14 years old when he was picked up by police while standing in his front yard in his pajamas as police canvassed the neighborhood following the crime. Devante was brought to the police station and subjected to over 24 hours of police interrogation, including two overnight interrogations, without an attorney or even a parent present. After police repeatedly accused him of this heinous crime, lied to him, and said that they found blood on his shoes, linking him to the crime scene, and told him he could go home if he just confessed, Devante eventually broke and confessed but his confession made little sense and got far more wrong than it got right. Devante was tried as an adult based almost entirely on his patently unreliable confession. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.